welcome to Stevie D's Models. Uh, I'm Stevie D and the subject of this video is another of these kits from Murphix that's called a vintage classic, the Bristol Bulldog. Now, they're not vintage classics, they're recycled old tat. Have you seen the new range for next year? What, is there four, maybe five new tools, if we're lucky? and some of those new tools from last year still haven't come out yet um, anyway uh, this box let's see it cost me £5.99 not a lot of money nowadays uh, it's got lovely art, uh, lovely artwork by Ray Cross I think uh, this kit was first released in the 1970s or something like that early 1970s I remember it coming out but I didn't buy it, I didn't, I didn't build this one I'd stop basically doing airfix kits then anyway so we'll uh oh yeah I've moved on to time you anyway so I'll, well let's have a look what's in the box okay so welcome, welcome to this uh, unboxing of this kit from airfix vintage classic uh, British Bulldog. Uh, Bulldog. What a graceful plane from the uh, late twenties, early thirties. Um, quite a few famous pilots flew this, including Douglas Bader, and I think he lost his legs in one. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of them he crashed. Anyway, side of the box. Just some warnings in different languages. Yeah, oh, uh, this was first made in 1969, so I was wrong about the early 70s. And it says, enjoy the Airfix vintage, enjoy the nostalgia with Airfix vintage classics. So you only get one marking option, which is from number 19 squadron, Air Flight, uh, Royal Air Force Duxford, in 31. Maybe that's where I got the 31 from. Uh, it's actually a skill 2 kit, this. And it's got one flying hours, and it cost me five ninety nine from Wonderland Models. And the markings on the back, very pretty aircraft. Well, I think it's probably the markings that, that, that make it that. But, uh, you know, uh, the RAF was very colourful in the 30s. You know, each squadron had their own markings. And that's lovely, isn't it? So, um, uh, it gives you painting directions for silver, gloss, red, matte. Dark earth, matte dark green, matte black, gun metal and chrome silver. All uh, umbral paints of course. So uh, if we have a look what's in, what you get for your £5.99. And to be fair, it doesn't seem to be a lot. Look at the instructions, so it's a nice decal sheet, isn't it? Very like satin, they look very thin, the decals. It doesn't say where they're printed, and I haven't seen anything on the box that says they're printed in by a cartograph. Maybe they are, I don't know, I'm just looking now. No, I can't see anything about uh, printing by a cartograph, but they look like cartograph decals, and if it's usually supply them nowadays. Anyway. So the instructions, as usual, uh, potted history about the aircraft there at the top, on in French, German, Spanish and Swe Swedish. Uh, it also tells you that surfaces should be, should be painted, should be clean, so it tells you to wash them in soapy warm water and dry them out. Anyway, so let's have a look at the instructions. So you don't get much of this. There's not many parts, I don't think. Uh, start off with pilot on a chair and a bit of floor. Close the fuselage. We put the lower wing on. Some ancillary stuff. Tail. Uh, 
and then it wants you to put the decals on now but I don't think that'll be happening to be fair when I make it and then you put the uh, is it cabin struts in there and then the normal struts for the upper wing so you get the upper wing on that comes in three bits uh, they look like bombs to be honest well, I couldn't, uh, well we'll have to see uh, then the engine I put the exhaust on on the carriage and that's it done no rigging there or anything so uh, you'd have to go uh, off what it's got on the box and I will try and rig it but so you got double wig in there, I, won't, I don't think I'll be doing that, it's a bit too close to me, that one. Anyway, so let's have a look at the main event, the plastic. small trees and a very small piece of clear in its own bag I won't be getting that out get two two cockpit canopies maybe for different versions they look slightly different okay so the first tree has one half of the fuselage half and some of the struts and the, the uh, Fabric representation is pretty nice. Yeah. And the tail planes are all subtly ribbed. Very nice. This is the second. My battery is going flat. Okay, so the next sprue. Which is the other fuselage half, it doesn't have uh, any detail in it, does it? But again, it's got a nice detail on the fuselage. There's some like a radiator or something there. Uh, more raised detail, don't know what you'd call it. It's a very, sp very small fuselage, this. Uh, you've got the obligatory pilot. And that must be his seat, and that's the floor, and the cab cabine struts, or whatever they're called. And don't know what they are, they're probably engine exhaust. Piece of flash just dropped off it. And here we have the lower wing. Yep. It's got some nice fine ribbon detail on it. And then, hmm, so something goes along here. I wonder if it is bombs or something. You know, that they only had a one ring. Uh, we've got a sink mark there. It'll probably need filling. You can see it, no problem. Can you see there? with the uh, engine detail in the upper one of the upper wings which again nice nice detail that'll need uh, sanding down a bit won't be, won't be able to uh, get a good fit with that piece of plastic piece of flash sticking up um, Got three parts of the engine here. Yeah, pistons, the cylinders. And it's got some uh, fine detail on that. And then you got some more things here. Don't know what they are. Probably something to do with the exhaust or something. I don't know. Uh, the undercarriage wheels, some more struts, and finally. Uh, the last sprue, 
which contains the other upper wing with that whacking red lump of flash there. But nice ribbing on this side. A few more parts. Right, yeah, they are the small bombs. Uh, the other parts of the upper wing. Um, they will all need sanding off. All these ejector pin marks, can you see them? They will all need sanding to get a good uh, fit uh, prop there. Which I think is a bit ropey, to be fair. It's got some flash on it as well. But we'll see what we can do with it. So, there we have it. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think would you buy? Is it something you would buy? Seeing as it's only five pound ninety nine, you can see my. Uh, lamp shining brightly there um, it is a handsome plane to be fair when you look at it yeah and painting it and building it might be a bit tricky uh, and especially with the, all the rigging lots, there's lots of rigging just for the aerial yeah because from the fuselage up to there and from each wing and then to the tail. So, and like, it's a very atmospheric shot, isn't it? A very nice picture. We've got bits by Ray Cross, what you, you know, what do you expect? Yeah, and there's a, underneath the wing there, there's bombs. But they only go under one wing. Anyway, so there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. And if you wouldn't mind, could have a, a like, please. If you want to uh, ask any questions about it, about it, just drop us a bit note in the thing underneath. You know what I mean? Down below, and I'll endeavour to uh, answer the questions that you want. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And this is Stevie D signing off for now. Uh, see you in the next video. Cheerio!